Okay guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to change an alternator in an Acura TSX. I did change the battery in this one already and it's still draining the battery. So my next option is to change the alternator. I could have gone to places like AutoZone and have it checked, but I didn't do that because I don't have the time to do it. So I thought most likely it's gonna be the alternator, but I'm hoping that it is. And if it's not, then maybe the battery is getting drained for other issues. Maybe it has a short circuit somewhere and I need to take it to a mechanic to figure out what's draining the battery. I did go ahead and buy the alternator from AutoZone and it's an aftermarket one for about $300 minus the $40 core deposit. Could have gone OEM, I chose not to because this is an old car and the OEM part would have been about $100 more or about 30% more. So I chose to go with just an aftermarket one that is not a rebuilt, it's actually an old new alternator. So let's get to it. The very first thing that you have to do is disconnect the battery. I'm gonna do that right now. This is the serpentine belt and we need to loosen it. This is my alternator right here. That's the tensioner. It's pretty tight. So the belt is off and we need to remove this low pressure hose. So it got a little messy as you can see. Okay, now we have access through here to I think it's three screws. So that's the first screw coming out. And the other two are down here and they may be a little hard to get from this angle. Okay, it seems like we were able to take off the screws. One was here and then two underneath. They're a pain in the butt to take off. They're like right there. And we took us about an hour and then we disconnected this. And then we still have to get to the contacts to the battery. And I think this is it right here. So we'll work on that. So as you can see, we have to disconnect this that goes to the battery. And then there's a couple, there's another nut right there. And we'll get to it right now. The only way I think that we're gonna be able to take out the alternator through here is by loosening the power steering pump. I don't care what you see in other YouTube videos, we have to take out this, the power steering pump because it was impossible to get it out this way. So now that it's out, we're about to install the new one. The new one is a Duralast Gold. It's a brand new alternator. You can also get one that is remanufactured, but I just opted for a new one. All this hassle could have been avoided if we would have opted for a simple test that my friend just showed up and showed me how to do something that I actually know how to do. Um, just unplug the terminal, the positive terminal on the battery, and if the car dies, that means the, it is the alternator. It's a very simple test. I forgot about that one, but let's hope that when we put the new one, that was the issue. Otherwise, I'm gonna be chasing the gremlin for a long time. So this is the old alternator, and I noticed that it's also an aftermarket. So this must have been replaced at some time during the life of this vehicle, and I'm hoping that that's the issue because we did all this work, and I hope it pays off with a reliable car for years to come. Okay, so I'm not gonna spend too much time explaining this because it's just a reverse of what we did to take it off. So right now that we don't have the steering pump here, we have a little bit more uh, room to maneuver. So we just put the top screw, and now we're gonna put the two bottom screws that are a pain in the butt like I told you earlier. And that's what we're working on right now. In a reverse process, we're gonna have to put the power steering pump back. And here comes the fun part because we wanna make sure that the serpentine belt goes through the pulleys the right way. Yep. That's the right. Okay, we're done with the help of my friends. We were able to put the alternator on. This is the new one. And the biggest hassle was to put back the serpentine belt. We were able to do it. And now I'm contemplating the possibility that this car has other issues not related to the alternator, but that's for another video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.